She said, you need to worry about what's on my timeline, your is on my timeline. Never gave a best YouTuber in the world. Never gave up the best YouTuber in the world. What part of the game is this? Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Now, do y'all remember when Freddie Gibbs' baby mama put out this tweet and said, blocking me on Twitter while I have a picture of you spreading your asshole in my phone is insane. I'm going to spare them that one, though. Well, today... On Valentine's Day, after Freddie Gibbs' new girl posted this on Instagram. Look at him all happy as she put a caption. Happy Valentine's Day, Freddie Gibbs. I'm in love with you unconditionally. Thank you for existing. You are my soulmate. Hashtag black love. Hashtag forever love. And right after that post, right after. After Freddie Gibbs is on Instagram enjoying life with his new girl, you know what his baby mama did? She went to her Twitter page and posted the picture of Freddie Gibbs spreading his cheeks with a goddamn Rolex on his wrist. Spreading your cheeks with a Rolex on your wrist is crazy. Now, obviously, I can't show y'all the photo, but this is her Twitter page. Y'all can check it out. And here's what Freddie Gibbs said about this situation. Get a date, bitch. My baby mama just hit me. I said, damn, why is my son late for school? She said, you need to worry about what's on my motherfucking timeline. Your ass is on my timeline. I said, bitch, look. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, bitch. Be with the girl. Not this nigga admitting it. Not him admitting that he's sending booty chick... <laughs> Booty cheek pictures to his, to his, to his girl. What, what circumstances do you have to be in for you to send such a photograph? And it gets crazier because if you go back to her Twitter page, it's another video that I can't show y'all that she posted on February 4th where Freddie is laying down on his stomach and his girl is laying on top of him from the back. Like she hitting it from the back. And she was rubbing his cheeks. And I didn't even know about this, but people sent me that video after she posted the cheek picture. Freddie, you and this girl was getting real freaky, bro. Now, if you want to know why Destiny hates Freddie Gibbs so much, y'all remember when she was pregnant with Freddie Gibbs' baby, she basically said Freddie just disappeared. So if you look at a couple of these tweets, the first one says, I get there and the doctor lets me know I'm closer to 12 weeks and I saw our little baby moving around. I knew then that I couldn't go through with it. After we broke up, I turned his phone off. Remember, she was paying Freddie Gibbs' phone bill. Now, I, I don't know whether to rag on him for that because it could be a pimp move. You know what I'm saying? I done had girls buy me stuff and, you know, get me phones and, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know whether that's the thing to say, oh, Freddie is broke. It could have just been, you know, oh, I got this white girl paying my phone bill. I, I just want to put that out there. But anyway, she said, I turned his phone off because I was paying his phone bill. And and also, you know, like paying a phone bill. That's not like, oh, I was paying all of your bills. You know, your phone bill is usually the cheapest thing. Kids in high school pay phone bills, right? But anyway, she also said he never checked on me after said procedure. Never called to confirm if I went through with it. I just simply never heard from him again. I've reached out to him, his manager, his assistant, and no one will respond. I feel like I've done my part, kept it real, and this is the thanks I get. Noted. I no longer want a response. No bad blood. I'm going to just be fine, but I had to speak my truth. Now, obviously, <laughs> it ain't bad blood. It's boiling blood if you posting booty butt cheek pictures on Twitter, all right? Another big controversy in their relationship was Destiny kept doing OnlyFans while she was pregnant. It's actually videos of her like doing OnlyFans with, you know, her belly bulging because 
she had a baby in her stomach, right? And she said, I set my pregnant ass down for six months and didn't hear a peep from this nigga. Reached out to his whole team, no response. So then I started working again. He walked out long before I did any scenes. Y'all just refused to believe he's a piece of shit. And this was her responding to a Freddie Gibbs fan who said he walked out because you had sex with another man with his baby in your belly. I wouldn't have just walked away too. I would have got my cousin to beat you up too. You know, getting your cousin to beat up somebody pregnant <laughs> it's, it's crazy like what what do niggas be talking about but you know that's the whole story between freddie and his ex not to mention she also went on dj academics platform and exposed him there she said a whole bunch of stuff about freddie and you know when he got jumped and when he got robbed and she was telling everything and i started to notice that like freddie wasn't giving me money for his phone bill and I kind of just didn't say anything about it because, once again, I was trying to be loyal, right? And I was just paying his phone bill. And then I bought him an iPad. And he didn't give me the iPad back when we broke up either. So he's just still playing on the iPad. And you got people asking whether or not Freddie Gibbs can sue over this situation because this is considered revenge porn. So I don't know if Freddie Gibbs will actually press charges against his baby mama. I doubt it. Also, I don't know about her financial situation. She she seems to be doing pretty well with OnlyFans. But, you know, it's your baby mama. Y'all got a kid together. And if she ain't really got it like that, you know, it, it ain't no point of doing all of that. She mad. And Freddie Gibbs seems to not really care. Honestly, I don't think he too mad about it. He was smiling and joking and telling her to get a date for Valentine's. So, you know, maybe he cool. I want to know what his girl think about this. Like, how do you explain you spreading your cheeks with a Rolex on your wrist? Like, imagine if his girl saw that picture and he had the same Rolex on today. <laughs> and she looking at that nigga wrist and she like, she putting one and two together. Like, no, this is you, nigga. And she like, nigga, I, I know that asshole anywhere. You know what I mean? And, and I know some of y'all going to say, oh, never gave up. You suspect. Why are you looking at this? It's a part of my job, bro. I'm a grown ass man. Um, Me seeing a nigga spread his cheeks don't mean I'm gay. You know how much crazy stuff we see on Twitter every day. Y'all know y'all opened up your Twitter timeline and saw Drake swinging his meat all over the place. But y'all gonna act like y'all never saw that either, right? Y'all niggas need to stop. I know, because I know y'all, oh, I never, you was, you was looking, why was you looking? I, I can look at what I want to look at, look at, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? I'm just going to stop while I'm ahead. Um, <laughs> make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll, I'll see y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>